Hi, it's Brian Donovan. I'm the recruiting coordinator for the West Michigan Officials Association for Football and also help train the newer officials. Today we're going to talk about how to register for MHSAA.com, the Michigan High School Athletic Association. We'll just type in MHSAA.com in our favorite browser and we'll be presented with the home screen. We'll click on the blue officials button at the top and we're presented then with lots of information that we'll use in the future on the left side but for now we really care about what's front and center here in the registration period note that we do register uh, june 1st through july 31st so this registration will be good through the end of july in 2022. we click on the register now button and we have a couple different scenarios presented to us but the vast majority of us are registering to become an official for the first time with the MHSAA.com. So we'll click on that link. You'll be asked to complete information, normal uh, contact type information. Um, you'll be asked to upload a file. It's good to do a nice professional photo of just yourself um, that people can use to recognize you when they uh, would be joining you to officiate a contest for the first time. That will go on your profile available in the directory on mhsaa.com. Um, you'll be asked to provide your social security number and that is uh, for the purposes of a background check that is included as part of your registration fee. Uh, because we're working with youth, it's a requirement that a background check is conducted. Okay, um, you'll pick a password and uh, your username will end up being your email address and just quick, a just quick word of advice, uh, use an email address that you can use for all of your officiating applications and sites. In addition here to the MHSAA.com site, you'll have your local association site, which is the West Michigan Officials Association, and that's at WMOA.net. You'll have a scheduling application where your, your uh, list of games will come out on your schedule. Uh, and you'll block your schedule for dates that you cannot work and that's all done in this tool called Arbiter. Um, that's yet another site that you'll have a login for. Um, you'll have a video review site called Huddle, H-U-D-L dot com and uh, we want to use the same email address for that. So uh, I'll be creating videos for all of those tools but just a word of the wise, uh, pick a probably a personal email address that you can use across all of your officiating platforms and sites. Uh, once you save this page, you'll be presented with the ability to register for individual sports. Let me just go back and see if I can go in and show you what that looks like. So it's got my information already preloaded. And uh, I'm going to click on these boxes real quick to see I consent to that. Yeah, this is what I wanted to get to. So here's where you'll be asked to sign up for sports um, for this coming season. Um, that's what that looks like. So in our case, we'd, uh, we'd want to pick football. It looks like I'm already because I'm already signed up for football, that option is not presented to me. But just as an example, um, we'd select, you know, let's say we were going into basketball, we'd select that one and um, that would show the, show up then. So um, you'll look for football, select that one. Um, you get some emblems for free, etc. So it's $16 per sport to register. Um, if you continue, um, they'll ask for a credit card and uh, you can register. Um, I, because I previously registered, there is a processing fee that helps reduce you know, the cost of administration. I think that's $40 for the year, regardless of how many sports you um, register for. So that's what that looks like. Um, you'll pick the football one, obviously. Let me just back out of that. Okay, um, part of officiating is you're gonna be asked to then, after registration for the MHSAA, you're gonna be asked to complete um, three exams. These are open book, 
Uh, they're on. They're available uh, online. They're typically a slideshow uh, with questions embedded, so they're easy to follow. Um, one is based on the MHSAA officials guidebook, which we'll talk about. One is principles of officiating slideshow, which is again referencing information in the officials guidebook. And the last will be, in your case, a football mechanics manual exam. Let me show you where to find those. So the first two, if you were to register for basketball as well, you would see that uh, exam pop up. But for right now, it'd just be the officials guidebook, the principles of officiating, and the football mechanics. So on the um, MHSAA site, if we go back to just click on officials as the main site, um, you'll see here right on the main site, the officials guidebook is shown. And this is um, your overall guidebook as an official, regardless of sport. It does have a little bit of sport specific content in it. Not so much the how to, but like the, um, the dates for registering and, and things like that. Um, some uniform requirements and so forth. So this will be a resource for you. It's uh, 50 pages. So you want to download this to your device. Uh, or look at it online to complete um, to help you complete a couple of those exams the uh, guidebook exam and then the principles of officiating we are independent contractors so we are not employed by the MHSAA or the local association which is the West Michigan Officials Association we're not employed by the OK conference or anything like that we're just independent contractors uh, and then lastly uh, you'll want to click on and again just go back to click on the officials button you'll see sports specific content here on the left we'll click on that and then on football you'll be presented with a lot of good information but the one we're interested in to complete that third exam which is the mechanics exam is here the MHSA mechanics manual and this is a lengthy document 244 pages but this is the playbook for football officials in Michigan on how to officiate the games. Uh, we work in crews of four for middle school, five for high school, and then occasionally seven for certain high school games or um, in the Lansing or Eastern Michigan area, they use seven officials. Um, and then in the semifinal and state final, seven officials are used in the state tournament. Uh, so this has just got a lot of good information. Uh, everything has hot links. And so um, it talks about initial basic information and then jumps right into everything from timing, foul and penalty enforcement, and then talks about different scenarios. You know, a kickoff or a free kick, punt or a try is called a scrimmage kick, scrimmage plays, goal line coverage, and the like. So. Again, you'll use this particularly as you become a new official and throughout your career, um, you'll use this as much as learning the rule book. Okay? Um, by the way, you will be sent hard copies of the rule book um, from the NFHS uh, rule book set. Uh, there's a rule book and a case book that's provided. The two complement each other. The case book gives actual plays that you can read through and learn how the rules are, are, are applied versus just reading the rule in its basic format. So those two documents will be mailed to you as part of your membership here with the MHSAA. Um, so you'll receive those shortly after you complete the three exams. So I hope that's been helpful. I'm glad you're joining football officiating. And uh, the first important step is to register with the MHSAA. Uh, look for another video on how to join the WMOA, and that's at WMOA.net. And then also videos, as I mentioned, on Arbiter, and eventually we'll have a video on Huddle as well to provide you orientation uh, to those sites. All of this information will be available on the WMOA YouTube channel. WMOA Training is, this, is the name of the YouTube channel. So thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. And uh, we look forward to seeing you on the field.